need to return the data so here we can get the data from service and it will hate that for now we are trying to say if we have that success and we will not have it we always get the object back so we need to see if you have id if it is generated okay so let me try that some random values here create oh, forgot saved successfully because we are receiving an object and it has the id if it fails to do the post let me mm -hmm, let me put here an extra value not here but here and try to call it create uh, and now create we will see we have an error something went wrong and we are not handling that so the save customer we need also to have here a try catch or let me just return here console log header we should have the header here and if so we return to stop the execution Create always oh, missing that value to serve GS. Oh, I forgot to add some logic here. Okay, so here we are throwing that here and then returning null, and we are playing the error. We need to return an object with message, and the message is the error itself so we are catching the error here and returning the error message should we do this this way mm, so it will not enter here because the error is already catched maybe we should throw an error and return nothing so we throw an error again and then we will catch that here. Your Portugal Porto create uh -huh. error, something went wrong. Okay. Service GS line 60. Let me delete that. So we catch the error. Okay, so customers John birthday country let me open so we have something went wrong we are catching the error here okay what we have done so far we have a build endpoint url method that builds the base endpoint and it is based on the config.json properties we can then set here the different endpoints we need to call then we build the fetch data method that receives the endpoint property to call the build endpoint url method we find here and we give it that property so we can build the base url and then if we want to post the method is the post we pass it to the method as an argument and then we also give the body data parameter value so we can use it inside the body property of our fetch call options object then if the response is not okay we throw an error catch that to throw it again 
and when we use the fetch data we need to use the try and catch and if you have an error you display the error and return and then we just if you not have an error we just console log the the data we receive and if you have an id because it is very specific for our api so the json server turns the data when we are posting to it and if we are creating something it will give give it the, um, the same object we passed to it and uh, it will also have the id property so we are checking if you have the id if so it means the customer was created successfully we can so basically now have the save customer that abstracts the direct call to the fetch data imagine if you want some unit testing you can mock these methods or this functionality, this function method, and we will not call a real API, but we'll change the service return value, and we can use that in the unit testing, in our unit tests. So here I have, I need to fix that extra has so it can work properly. Okay. I catch return return and let's add some random values James oh James Potter 80 and then let's put some some different here and then he's from UK and uh, Manchester okay then if you create we will see saved successfully and then inside db.json we will look for james potter and we are we will have all the data and if you go to dashboard we receive all the new values we added to our json database this is the basic here now we are going to build upon it we have the the functionality the base functionality now we can save customers then we will create some functions to retrieve customers to update customers and so on and all of them will call the base function the base method that is the fetch data that is declared inside the service utils module here and we need to update it if needed according to some kind of method requirements okay so for now we are ready to to go we learned how to use how to call an api how to send requests using fetch again you can use a different library here you can use the ajax one Oracle Jet have the jQuery library already specified and you can uh, use it uh, right away. If you want something different like Axios or something like that, you can go to the path mapping file. And here, as you can see, you need to specify all the dependencies you want to be installed inside the node modules so you can then use the, the define function to load all the modules you can see it knockout here that is being loaded here so it is quite simple and then as soon as you make a build the app will install all the dependencies it's very very easy to do right now we are going to build this dashboard GS module and have some charts on it and then we are going to use the the bind control from Oracle Jet where we can have some for loops inside HTML so we can have let's say five pie charts and you only write html for one the different data the different properties or attributes or values for each attribute inside html tags will be specified in javascript and will be loaded dynamically so you will not have to write let's say five pie charts five full html pie charts you only will write one and then you can loop and create several ones based on that html 